you know, Dave, people spend months and months, sometimes over a year, planning their wedding. And you know Tom Cruise and uh, Katie Holmes did the same thing, but in less than two weeks, it's all over. How is that possible? They already got a divorce in two weeks. I'm going to tell you. My theory? It's all secrets. It's based on there's so much pressure to get this done, get it out of the way. They want to settle the stage at get off it at this point. Scientology, uh, Scientology uh, a big issue for them. We've got some guests here. Tom and Katie's reps quickly issued a joint statement, by the way, yesterday saying, we are committed to working together as parents to accomplish what is in our daughter Suri's best interest. We want to keep matters affecting our family private and expect our, uh, express our respect for one another uh, and our commitment uh, for our respective beliefs and support each other's roles as parents. Hmm. Interesting. Read between the lines. All right. Here to talk about it this morning is Us Weekly's Jennifer Peros and divorce attorney Lubov Stark. Nice to have you both here. They must have had an ironclad prenup. I mean, Nobody settles this quickly. Lubov, you, you deal with celebrities all the time in divorce settlements. Yes. What do you think is behind this? There definitely was a prenup, but that has to do with financials. I believe that because she filed in New York, she got so much of an edge. Our courts really have to decide custody and either give it to her or to him. And that's where she got the edge, by moving from California, where uh, there's a presumption for joint custody and here in New York she was able to position herself the right way and that's what put so much pressure on both of them and brought them to the negotiation table and allowed them to quickly and amicably settle this. All right, Jennifer, I, we, we know the legal issues right now. Of course. What really drove this to wrap up so quickly? Was it was it simply the legal documentation was all in place or was there more? I think there was a lot more. You know, one of the biggest factors we're hearing that caused the split was Scientology. I mean, Kate, Katie grew up in this devout Catholic family in Ohio. She converted to Scientology when she met Tom, which she had to if she wanted to marry him. And I think as the years went on and she had a child in Surrey who's six years old, is finally old enough to go to school and to start practicing these beliefs, she just didn't agree with them. And she wanted to get her daughter out as quickly as possible and she did everything she could to, to do that okay now that is if we believe the Hollywood fairy tale that has been spun for us because there's also this talk that this was a contract from the very beginning Tom Cruise you know you've reported it at us weekly that there was a contract that he went out and looked for a certain type of woman of yeah. and Katie wanted her career enhanced and that's why she joined in this union what have you guys reported on that? You know, of course, there's no confirmation on any signed contract. There are many reports for years. There are reports with Nicole Kidman that she had a signed contract and she filed her divorce the day after it was up. Um, of course, that was not confirmed. Um, I think this is just, it was a young Katie Holmes who fell in love with Tom Cruise, probably one of the most famous actors of our time. Uh, she was absolutely smitten with him. And, you know, of course. Jennifer! Come on! <laughs> my, Jennifer. My, I mean, my question is, when did this really fall apart? You know, you know, I've seen them in any in and out of Dylan's candy shop and before that serendipity yeah, yeah. and blah 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 blah. A lot of time. Yeah, lot of time. But you know. but clearly this just didn't happen in a week, no, it when did this thing really end? We heard, you know, whispers a couple weeks before. She, I mean, she got her own apartment three weeks ago in Chelsea before she filed for divorce. Right, but it had to She's end been before, planning for but this. Right, that's my question. You know, we are hearing she went to China about a month ago when he was honored here at the Friars Club for a Lifetime Achievement Award. She was in China for business, which is the reason why she wasn't there. We are hearing that this all stemmed from Tom starting to audit Surrey. Audit is a way that Scientologists question and investigate things that are really going on in somebody's family. So when she was in China, she left Surrey here with Tom, and Tom started to audit Surrey behind Katie's back. We are hearing that that was, you know, the last straw. She came home, she found that out, and she was like, that is it, I am out of here. Luboff, let me ask you about divorce law in New York. Sure. I mean, for a while there, it was very difficult to get a divorce, right? But now it's quick quicker? I mean, yes. is this signed, sealed, and delivered, or just a, an agreement has been met? An agreement has been met. They signed the agreement. Once there's a signature, both parties were represented by very reputable attorneys, and I think that when they came to the table to discuss the details, that's where it was so hush-hush, because there's a lot of detail in that agreement. Like what? What from do you think was in there? From yeah. their statement, you can see that there's a lot of room for the belief part. They made a statement that they respect each other's beliefs, that means that there will be room 
for both of them to be co-parenting Surrey and cooperating and by them removing it from the public light they were able to save this child a lot of tra trauma. So the language is respect the mutual beliefs etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you believe we're done with the battling or do you believe as this child grows as Tom tries to push this Scientology and she tries to pull the, the child to Catholicism we're going to wind up back in court for one reason or another battling each other. That's the main question. That's the main question because custody can always be changed because the standard is the best interest of the child. So depending on how uh, the agreement is drafted and how strong the enforcement provision is, meaning if something goes south, can they go back and enforce that part? That's a very important question and that's uh, we're going to see that developing as, as she grows up. Jennifer, how much money do you think Katie's walking away with? We're hearing about $3 million per year she was married, which and is how about many 15, years? Mil $15 million. They were married for five years. Plus she gets a $30 million, in Beverly, $30 million mansion in Beverly Hills. So That's a good deal. I'd marry him for terrible. a few years, too. I'm not going to ask you any <laughs> names, but as we wrap up, are we going to see more shoes drop? Are there any other big Hollywood divorces or explosions on tap I don't in think, the next 12 months? I don't think Hollywood divorces will ever stop. No, I mean biggies. I think we're going to get a biggie in the near future. Okay, what Ooh. do you know? Give us an initial. I know a lot. I can't Jennifer, say that. Jennifer, an, an, <laughs> an initial. This is good. This is good. good. What do you think? I know, very good. You won't say. No, I won't. All right. Thanks so <laughs> much. Good. Jennifer Piros from Us Weekly and Lubov Stark, divorce attorney. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.